I know there's like a three times the devil try to help me out. We're going to accident, sickness, plus I go to jail. To God be the glory and I'm here today. Well, I took sick um, September. I, was, I went to my bed, good, good, good and easy. Come from work and all right. And 3 a.m. in the morning, I feel like something eating in my head. I'm a jump on to my partner said, Jimmy, yeah, food catch me made a while ago. He said, no, I didn't food catch me made. And from that, he said, I'm to do up myself, peep up myself. I can't talk, I can't walk. Is that me have something in my okay. Fits, but it was no fits. So they called the ambulance and rushed me to the hospital. They checked me. They said it was no fits. But I was keep on crying for pain in the head. The right side of my head. I feel a pain in the right side of my head. And when they tested the MRI scan, they said it's a mass on my head, which is a tumor. But I could not do the surgery in, in Trinidad because I do have documents there. And I started to have to head back home to Jamaica. So I was doing hospital and treatments for two weeks. Then I head back home to Jamaica, which I did my surgery 2019 of December at UC. What, type of, what type of tumor was it? I don't remember the name of the tumor. But it's, it's, it's an unusual tumor. And I'm, I don't smoke, I don't drink, so I'm not supposed to have that type of tumor. I went back and ward. And I went back and ward. Now I noticed some pus start running from my face, my head. A lot of pus around. A lot of pus around. From I said, bandages. nurse, nurse. I, we don't know what was it. I don't know what it is. But pus like water run down and sticky and smell funny. I said, nurse, nurse, something wrong. Look, some yellow pus around, like water run up. And she said, it's infected. The cock get infected and call it surgeon. But the surgeon come and test me of my everything. He said, no, no, the bone need to remove. But they want to try, they was trying to save the bone. Understand? Yeah, but, so they rush me back to the theater, trim me up and rush back to the theater at the same time. So they remove the bone plate. Remove the bone plate from my head. If you can, if you can see. The bone removed from here. And I went back and ward. I couldn't walk at the time. I couldn't talk. Start doing therapy, speech therapy. For work, therapy, everything overall I started doing and take to my take time recover, take to my take time come back on. Which they do a couple of MIR scan after becoming to be remember for test, make sure so the tumor don't come back. It can come back, I don't must come back. Mm -hmm. So I do several MIR scans, several C CT scan throughout the years. Then the doctor gave me the okay to do back, put in the plate, which is a plastic plate. I couldn't afford the surgery. To put him by the plastic place. I went by Gleena and seek help, and the people from the diaspora donated to me towards the surgery. Donated to people from the diaspora, donated towards the surgery. The cap alone was 318000 for the cap by legally. I get help with the cap, they buy the cap, cap. I seek help from the Prime Minister. He sent me 200,000 checks, state in University Hospital. I seek help from the Mia, they sent me 200,000 checks, state in to the, to the hospital. I have an aunt in Florida. She donated as well, Miss Pamela Gray. And I, and I, I go ahead and the surgeon put in the, the, the cap. Mm -hmm. it, it took a long while now because I couldn't get it done. And the money never enough. And they take a look to finally April of this year, 22nd, 2022, April, I did the surgery, the 6th of April. I did the surgery. And I came out the 8th. It was so, God is so good because I get two weeks medication which is supposed to repeat and I only did one week. And when I go back to test my surgeon, I said, no, don't do more mistakes now. You're ill. No more. You're ill. So to God be the glory. Great thing that he has done and he's still doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, your post, you said 15 years ago you had another near-death experience. Yes, I did death. Talk to me about that one. Around 17 years ago, I met an accident on the toll. I was going to Prendies and the beach, you know, Prendies. I was you know, never a Christian, I mean, in the world, I go party, I go dance, I bleach, I enjoy myself in the world. Understand? I go Prendies, I reach a reach a toll. The driver, me the bit in our IES bus, me my brother and friend them. Me the being at the driver, you know, they have an iron pole, being at the driver, you can hold on and so. So me wall lamp on the pole, but just as my wall lamp on the pole, me I look to the window. So I can't drive up beside the van of me in there. I see one guy pint at one gun. So I said, driver, driver, look there. And the guy pint it. So him go see the gun now. In front me take put him foot on the gas. And if I look in front of him, I will right lick up to the vehicle in front of the vehicle where we in a lift up. And I said, so me I look, everybody get damaged. The driver two foot then broke. The, the girl in the front had her, her, her tongue burst. 
And I said, everybody get damaged. Everybody, but me get the worst, because I couldn't wake. Mm -hmm. And I said, so they put me on the ground. That's what my brother tell me. You couldn't wake as in you were in a coma? I was in a coma, yes. Them tear up my clothes. They man knocked me up, say this, we can't get up. And my face just start to swell, because I had a head injury in my forehead. They said, look at my brother, so that's where I get the lake. So the forehead starts to swell, so. So I went, so anyway, them stop some fecal, nobody never wants to, it was this good Samaritan stop. I picked me up, I'm to the Spanish Town Hospital. I was there, I was unconscious, in, in coma for 36 hours. You have also had an experience with the law in 2015. 2015, 2015 yes. I just received my, my 10 year visa, 2015. I was going overseas. And my neighbor told me that, in my community, told me that my father, friend, good friend, you know, good friend, where you know, borrow money from, to a partner with him. And my father tells her, my daughter go away now. She has fear that with overseas, she has two kids. She leaves the two kids with her mother here in Jamaica. And she run off on her visa, she over there working. But she, like, she was looking married. And that's what she never tell me that she had looked married. But that was the immigration, she looking married. Mm -hmm. So when my father tell her, I said, tell, her, tell, her, tell her mother, said, and my daughter go, go overseas you now. And she said, we can give her an envelope for giving my daughter with some land title. My father said, yeah, man. And I said, yes, I will carry it. Come I know the fact that my daughter and I read a problem about the land tech, but the father they left give her. So I mm. say the land tech. So the man know me I got airport, no me drive by the gate. I said to her, say, give me the envelope. She said she come in, she go fit and come back. So when the vehicle sit down, she put it through the, the, the window and give me put it beside my suitcase. We don't hide it. Then beside my suitcase put it put it. So when me know think everything has everything and I'm rich at Miami I will take that transfer flight from Miami, Miami to Philadelphia. When I reach a Miami airport, the immigration said to me, Mr. Townsend, do you have something in your suitcase for someone? I said, yes, I let it enjoy in my community to give me an envelope to give her a daughter. Booze, in Philadelphia. And I said, what is in it? I said, land tackle. Immigration said, no, Mr. Townsend, there's no land tackle in the envelope. And when the man pulled the envelope, so three social security, three passport, four bird people, for people that see him coming to the Tower Hill, Kingston Level, Olympic Division. So you thought it was undocumented? Mr. Yes. people myself around three times. The people are people going and can't stop. I um, told the I don't cry. And the, the immigration, the white lady, I'll shut them and work more and work on the, the social security. And the social security belongs to three kids. One was four, one was six, and one was eight year old. Two of the kids was for the lady daughter. Other one for an next stranger in my same community. So I, was, I went to jail. I was in jail for three days. Were you charged? Huh? Did they charge you for anything? Them, I didn't get a charge, but they gave me a paper sign. I was supposed to go to um, uh, Miami Correctional Center. And that's time, so I was supposed to sign up some documents. And so for they give me a fingerprint, everything we do. So they come up here and tell them, listen, you have, to you have to come to Miami and get the address where I'm going to be in Miami Correctional Center. My mother said, but I buy your ticket, my father buy, buy them ticket also. Prepare themselves to come, because they call my auntie in Florida, so she now can't drive go so far. Because she don't, she can't alone, because I manage to drive so far. My father said, well, we have to come from Jamaica then, because somebody has to be there with her. And I said, because we don't know what is it, but the police, them telling me on the phone, with them won't own me with, or I'm going to get charged for, and whatever. Understand? At the time, what went through your mind? When you me like a cry now. Mr. Father God, I want this. I put myself in there. Because somebody can't wicked, so. They give me a call for call my parents. I call my mom. I call my mom. I tell me what happened. They tell her also what they want with other person names. That's all it. Done it. And I said, Mom, she know the name them. And she know the person them. And I said, So, Mom, I tell them, so the lady give me the, the envelope. Mm -hmm. Anybody in jail? But we just go on some fasting. I tell you, I'm not eating enough food. You were a Christian at that time? No, I'm not a Christian at all. But I backslide down because I'm growing at church. I mean, it get bigger. Which 1920, that's why I explore the world and what the world is like. So I just come out of church and do my own thing. Understand? Yeah. I tell you, I'm not eating nothing at all. They give me some local bottle of water, some local mud juice, some local snacks. I don't, look, I don't eat them because I know they got them in serve. I'm going to knee city on the third night. Me now I forgot. I get the feel, me feel the Holy Ghost in the jail cell. In the jail cell, I get the gift of the Holy Ghost. I feel the presence of God take over my entire body. I grow my reach. Till the, 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 the other, um, call it the, call it the people in the other cell. People in the other cell, I call it police. police officer, officer, something wrong with the lady over there, so. And they come and pull it, they did the iron door and, and come in and the police wall me up. And the police said, no man leave her, don't put her back down. It's an iron, she's not her, she's not her fits. It's an iron, she's under. 
When we come out right now, I sit down and I start talking to God. I say, God, you're good. God, you're good. Look after me at the door and knock. Bam, bam, bam. I'm look on the time was after 12 or 12, 12 20. I mean, the policeman said, Stone, you have a flight five minutes. But I couldn't believe it. The man said, You have a flight in five minutes. Your suit is already gone on the flight. I'm like, Mr. 12, which flight? I know where I go. So I think I killed him. I can't kill me now. So I said, I'm going to move. The man said, You may have told me. I said, I'm going to move. Stay with me. He was like, Go on. The flight, go down. Good passage. First left. I said, I'm going to stay with me. I look on him because I can't believe it. Because I said, It's got to be God. It's got to be a miracle. I can't do anything else. So then when I take a look at the time when you walk, I mean, the man said, Oh, you're poor. He said, Yes, he said, to run now. And I go up on the flight. Go through the, the left door, I go up on the flight. I said, No, the man come and said, I came with a white envelope, come give me and pull it. I said, Mr. Oz, you know what is this? We have taken away your 10 year visa. We have given you a five band from the US Embassy. Understand? And God, is, God has been, and God must have been on your side. And I started to think that 10, 10, 5 years, I said, yes, it could have been worse than a warrior. It could have been worse than that. It could have been a jail right now. So I know there's a God. I know there's a God. Three times the devil try to help me out. We go in an accident, sickness. Plus, I go to jail. To God be the glory, and I'm here today.